Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing um, a, vid a video. Yeah, a video. I thought it was a video. <laughs> I was going to say design, but never mind. I'm going to be doing a video on a design that I found on Pinterest. Um, I have actually saved the picture from Pinterest this time for once, so I will insert it here um, so you can see it. Um, the only thing I've done is changed the colour scheme, basically, so we're not doing the black um and gold i think the picture was we're going to be doing like a more autumnal slash winter color scheme so i'm going to be going in with english rose which is this color here from gel perfection it is beautiful for this time of year um we're going to use peachy nude for the base color and then i'm going to be using brill birds glamour gel number eight which looks very pink in the pot but when you use it just one layer like i'm going to be it's not quite that intense so it'll work well this is what it looks like in the pot, but it will look much more neutral when we're using it. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to do my base colour on all of the nails first. So the all of the nails need to be this neutral colour because none of them are going to be full coverage colour. So I'm basically putting a design on all of them is what I'm trying to say. I'm just going around it the real long way. Um, so I'm going to do two coats of this colour on every nail. I have got a peel off base coat on as per usual um to make it easier for me to remove quickly so i can keep filming videos on my nails without causing lots of damage keep removing properly so i'm just going to go ahead and do two coats of this color i was just showing you the first coat just so you can see what kind of color it is um, i'm going to do two coats of this color on all nails and then we can come back ready for designing them right so i've just done two coats of the color on all four nails as you can see the color is beautiful it's a really lovely neutral. I'm just going to pop some of English Rose on my palette. And then I've got my Glamour Gel right next to me. Ready to use that as well. So I am going to remove the tacky layer from these nails. Just so my hand painting doesn't leak. Well, doesn't spread basically. So I'm just taking off the tacky layer. You can apply a no wipe top coat and buff or apply a matte top coat or just do what i'm doing and just remove the tacky layer they all seem to do the same job in my opinion so let me just get some brushes ready so for the pinky we're going to be doing a v french i'm going to be doing half glitter and half the color um i'm going to do the color on all of on everywhere i need it basically first just to make sure that i don't contaminate my brush with the glitter before i actually use the colour one. Um, so I'm just going to go straight in and just create my V. Well, I call it a V French, but it's also known as a Chevron French. I've seen a few names for it. Um, I just call it a V French because I don't know. I think it's probably like the, the first thing I saw someone call it and then that's just what I call it now. Everyone has different things that they say and that is what I call it so it's obviously up to you what you call it but that's me so I'm just creating that on this nail like so and then the other side will be glitter but we don't want them to touch each other so we'll do that after this one is cured the ring finger we're going to be having some glitter across here that's going to be outlined with this color and then some leaves down the bottom in a different color so we don't actually need to use this color on that nail just yet um, the middle finger is going to be a French using this colour, like a normal rounded French. So we're going to go ahead and create that. I'm doing it, I've probably done it a little bit too low down. I was going to say I'm doing like a nice thick French, but I don't know whether I've done it too low, but we'll see how it looks. I'm just going to bring it slightly further down the side wall. And then I want to make sure that it goes to the same place on the other side so it's even. So I'm just creating that line down there. I do find it really difficult to do a French on myself, I'm not going to lie. Um, which is why I never really have it. The V French is usually the most exciting I get in terms of French nails on myself. But you never get any better at anything if you don't keep doing it. So I might as well... Jump straight in. So 
So I've created the shape, I'm just basically filling it in now, just colouring it in. Like so, I'm just going to flip it round so you can see that this side is thicker than the other side. I'm going to clean it up and purposely take off a little bit more than I should because I don't want it to be quite as thick. I wanted a, a thinner French than that. So I'm just going to, I don't really have a very neat clean up brush for French because all my brushes that I use for cleaning up are dipped in acetone all the time, which obviously in turn dries out your brushes and ruins them. So hence why this is really dried out, but I'm just tidying it up, taking off the excess polish. And then I'll go back in with my nail art brush and just add to it to get it how I want it. Right, so that's really handy. So that's nice and thin now. So I just need to build up this side but try not to build it up too, too much where I've got to remove some again. That looks much better now, but still a bit, a bit too wonky. So I'm just going to Build up this side a little bit, make it a little, just a smidge thicker. I think that'll do. If I do any more, I'm going to ruin it and then really wind myself up. <laughs> so the um, middle finger obviously is done. Index finger is just one corner um, design. So we're just going to go straight in with this colour and create that. And then it's just going to be outlined and some leads again, like the ring finger. So it's just one corner we're doing this time and then we're going to outline that with the glitter and then this colour again. So I'm not going corner to corner. I'm not going right up here like there with this colour because I'm going to be adding two more layers of colours at this point. So I don't want to go too far over and then end up pretty much covering the whole nail. So I'm happy with that. That is all I can do at this point in time without the extra layers of other colours and stuff. So we're just going to cure this in place to keep that where it is so we don't mix it with the glitter or anything or any other layers to come still. Okay, so I have decided to use a different colour for the glitter just to make sure I don't contaminate brushes. So I'm going in now with the Real Bird Glamour Gel. I'm just going to scoop up a chunk on my brush like so. Pop it onto my palette next to me. And then I can really work it into my brush to make sure it's all coated. So like I said, I'm going to be outlining this nail with the glitter. I'm just going to get a little bit off my brush because it's a bit too, a bit too much on there. We want this to be quite a thick um, outline so we can obviously we want to be able to see the glitter. It's a bit too thick on my brush. I'm going to end up with a big clump. So we're just going along that shape we've already created. I do find it a bit tricky to get like perfectly neat lines with these gels because they are like little flakes in gel. Um, so you really need to like move the flakes around to get them where you want them. I'm really good at overdoing it. I just keep going and going and going until I really muck it up and then I get really angry at myself. So I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to leave it. I'm happy with that. That's thick enough because my nails are quite short. Um, and then the, what's it called? Middle finger. We're going to do a glitter phase. We're going to place the glitter at the top um, up here. I'm just going to go in with my detail brush just to do right up to the cuticle area. And I'm going to use a different brush to apply more gel. I want to make sure I get it nice and neat first with this brush just because it's easier to get right up there and then I'm going in with a brush again that I have literally I use just for glitter because I don't want to ruin any it's just a cheap one that was in a set off Amazon ages ago so I'm just going to pop some on that brush and then I'm just going to dab that on 
I'm not painting it, I'm just dabbing because I want it to be quite thick because then we're going to blend it out with a blending brush. The This is going to be pretty difficult to get a nice blend with, to be honest with you, because the base colour I've used is not very similar to the pink glitter. But it's fine, we're just going to go with it. We're going to be doing a little bit of nail art on top of the glitter anyway, so if there is any bits that don't look very good at all, it's fine. We'll just make sure the nail art goes over that. So I'm using an ombre brush, and then I'm just going to, the very edges of this glitter, I'm just going to use that to pull it down, like so. I don't want it really far down where it's going like right up to the colour at the bottom or anything. Just want it to blend nicely. I think that will do. Nice and easy. It's hard to get these glitters to focus. Um, and then next we're going to be doing, so we've got the ring finger. We're going to do that horizontal line I was talking about. So we're going to go across here. I'm just going to start by popping some glitter in the middle and getting that thickness right. I don't want it too thick, but we want it thick enough to see it properly. And thick enough to be able to do an outline as well. Without the outline looking thicker than the glitter itself. I will do this this way round, but then I will flip my hand over just to make sure that it is looking right from the other angle as well okay so i'm just flipping it like i said and then i'm going to just maneuver it a little bit from this way as well Like so. Just moving those flecks of glitter around to where I want them. Just going to pick up a little bit more. It, so I'm happy with that and then the pinky like I said the other corner is going to be the glitter so we're going to apply that now because that other side is now cured so it's not going to move anywhere we're not going to merge I'm not sure if you can hear in the background but my baby is now very much awake <laughs> so he's, he's with his dad so I don't want anyone to think that he's just in a different room screaming and I'm just sat in here like it's all right I'm just filming a video <laughs> so that's that side I'm just going to flip it again make sure it goes to the same place on both sides so it's even and then once I've finished that it can go in the lamp until the next like for the next step so next up I'm going to outline the index nail next to that glitter that we've just applied with the English rose colour You don't want it too thick because you don't want to take away from the glitter or cover it up or anything. So I'm just doing a quite thin line. Thick enough to see it but not too thick where it's the only thing you can see. mugged it up a bit there I'm just going to clean that up a little bit I really need to learn to just go over something one or once or twice instead of a million times because the more I go over it the worse I make it and then I end up having to do it again anyway so just 
didn't really do me any favours, but I've been doing nails all these years and I still haven't learned to leave things alone yet. So I'm starting to just think that I'm never going to, but never mind. So that's that one. That is done now. The pinky is also done. So them two are finished. Um, well, they're not finished. That one's finished. This one just needs some flowers. But in terms of this design, that's finished. Um, the middle nail is going to have some stars. The ring finger, we need to outline that um, pink glitter. And then it's going to have some leaves to match the index nail. And then they are done. We'll just need to top coat. I did really love this design in the colour scheme of the picture in the black and gold. But I just thought it'd be nice to see it in a different colour scheme. Didn't want to copy the picture completely, like colours and all. It'd be nice to have something a bit different. So that is what we're working with so far. I am going to flash cure that just for 30, like 20 to 30 seconds, just to keep it all in place while I do the other areas because I don't want them to I don't want to smudge anything but I also I'm not going to be touching anything that I've just painted with what I'm going to do next so I don't actually really need to cure at this point I just am because I know how clumsy I am so I'm going to be doing the leaves in white I think just to brighten it a little bit because they'll really stand out that way as well so I'm using the new one that I got from Jarbox UK in a recent box it's called Afterlife I think it's white I'm convinced that it is if it isn't, it's close enough to it where it makes me think that it is, so it's still fine. <laughs> so I'm going to do, like I just mentioned, some leaves and stars. So I'm going to do the stars first. I'm going to remove the tacky layer. Um, I don't need to, I'm not actually going to be doing anything really on top of that. So I'll do the stars after, actually, because then um, they don't have time to expand or anything on that nail while I'm doing the other nails. So the other nails were doing leaves. So I'm going to get some polish on my brush. I'm just making sure to really have like polish all the way through my brush. So I know there's definitely enough on there. This is the brush that's got a little bit of a, a longer bristle on it. It drives me mental every time I use it and I still don't ever fix it. So I'm just going to... Grab a different one that's not going to make me very, very angry, hopefully. <laughs> it's out of sight, out of mind until I come to use it again and then it always winds me up. But I still keep putting it back in my drawer, leaving it how it is. I will do it. I will sort it out one day. So I've got a different brush. <laughs> um, so the ring finger we're going for, we're going to do like a stem here and then maybe one here as well. So we've got two. And then this one, we're just going to go for the one. But I'm not going to put loads of petal, loads of like leaves on it because I don't want it to be overkill because there's already design on every nail. So I'm going to just create this one now. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just creating the leaves. Maybe white wasn't the best idea because it didn't really show up very well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not doing white. It doesn't make any sense because it's not very uh, obvious on the background colour. So I'm going to take that off and I'm going to do... Do you know what? I might do black. Obviously in the picture, all of this design is the same colour as the leaves, but I feel like I want it to be a bit of a contrast instead of so much of the same colour. So I'm going to go in with black for my leaves. It's definitely going to show up a lot better than the white. The white is just absolutely pointless. You really couldn't see it very well. So we'll just trial and error. This is the joys of using different colours to a picture. Because by looking at the picture, you know exactly what it's going to look like if you do everything the exact same. But if you decide to change anything, you don't really know what it's going to look like. I can't remember off the top of my head where the leaves and everything were on the inspo picture. So I am just... Sort of going for it with this step because I can't remember and I'm obviously filming on my phone which is where the picture is so I'm just gonna have to 
go for it. It's way too much on my brush then. But like I said, not doing loads of leaves. Just a couple. Maybe I'll do one on the very end and then two on each side. And then the same on the ring finger, but we're doing two branches would it be? I don't know. Hmm. Can't do leaves that way round. <laughs> When it's so much harder to do small leaves than bigger ones. Definitely my nemesis. And then we're just gonna join them up to the stem. So that's that one. I'm going to create my stems first because then that will help when I'm doing the leaves. If I do one and then the other, I'll get confused and I won't know what I'm doing. It's not difficult to confuse me nowadays. So that's where we're going to do them. I'll bring this round a bit and then have them just trace in where I want them to be because I don't want to put all the effort into doing them properly and then end up not liking where they are and having to do them again anyway. So I'm just going to rough it for a second, figure out if I'm happy and then if I am I'll put a bit more effort into making them look right. I just don't want this one to be overkill because there's two on it because my nails are very small. I might only do one or two petals on this one instead. Maybe one that side. to this side. Hmm. I think that's going to be a bit overkill, you know. I'm going to take that off. Okay, so I've just redone it. Just very quickly to see if I can get it how I want it. I thought I'd just done one in the end, but I am happy now. So I'm just going to go ahead and perfect those leaves now that I know where I want them. So I'm doing them slightly bigger because I'm doing less leaves. I think that'll look better than too many little ones instead. Don't want it to be overkill because there is quite a lot going on these nails. Super simple design, but they are very, quite busy. Just realised I was holding my breath then, so I had to just quickly have a breath before I passed out. <laughs> Anyone would think that nail art is life or death. It's very dramatic. I've definitely ruined that one. <laughs> that looks absolutely ridiculous. We're going to remove that, just that one leaf, because I, I don't know what I was thinking of making it that large, but it looks ridiculous. I'm just going to go ahead, in fact, you know I am, and swipe it away. Being very gentle because I don't want to have to do all the others again. And being careful not to 
Nice one. My phone is the other as well. Let's get rid of our bit of Mac there. Right, let's try that again and not make it look so crazy this time. Just a normal size one will be great. I do find it so much easier to do nail art on other people. Luckily, if I didn't and I found it difficult to do it on other people to do it myself, I probably wouldn't offer it, to be honest. But anyway, that looks much better than the original. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. So I'm going to pop that. Oh, no, I'm not. I've got the middle finger to do. I nearly forgot. So like I said, we'll do some stars. So I'm just going to grab just some really small ones. Don't want to overkill. So I'm just going to do probably two and then a couple of dots here and there. So I'm going to do one star there. One star here. Again, can't remember what the inspo picture looks like. So we're just going to... I know that there's stars on it. So that's good enough for me. So I'm just going to get that same brush again, but make sure that there's not loads of product on it because we're basically just using the product that we've just applied in the dot to do the stars. Don't need to add any more to it. Just making sure that the star that goes up and down is longer than the star, than the lines that go side to side. Hopefully that makes sense. And then once I've done that, I'm going to just, like I said, pop some small dots around the outside of them. I'm doing this quickly because I haven't took the tacky layer off the glitter gel and I don't want to end up with this running everywhere and then the stars ended up really big and bulky and stuff. So I'm just getting on with it really quick. So that's what they look like. Very cute. I love it. So I'm just going to pop those in the lamp. I will quickly top coat off camera and then show you what they look like. Pop a bit of oil on my nails so they're not really dry. Have a look at them and then we can peel them off as well. So this is what they look like. I'm so happy with how these turned out. I think they're really pretty. Um, I love the different colours and the contrast of everything. Gosh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? better <laughs> um yeah so let me know what you think and whether you'd wear these nails or not and what color scheme you'd like them in um i'm glad i went with the black instead of the white i don't think the white would have been well there's no point in it basically it would have been pretty pointless so the black is definitely the best option but yeah i'm really happy with them they're so pretty um definitely should have done the stars a little bit smaller but you know you live and learn um love the ring finger I could quite happily wear that on every nail, but I like this one as well. And this one. I like them all. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know what you think, whether you'd wear these nails or not, and if you like this colour scheme. I loved the black and the gold in the original picture, so would definitely wear those. Um, but unfortunately, the time... Well, unfortunately and unfortunately, because I do quite enjoy peeling them off, even though it's sad when I do like the design, because I don't really want to see them go when I like them. <laughs> but, you know, it's got to be done. So let's peel them off always have to take a million and one photos of them before I peel them off just in case the one or two that I take are not very good and then I've peeled them off and it's too late to get a thumbnail so just been messing about doing that for a little while I'm definitely not getting a full peel on this one that is for sure because it's already broken oh okay obviously you just wanted to prove me wrong <laughs> Well, this one's looking good. It's just a huge clary that I always uh, mess up on. Because I always take the gel polish a little bit too close. And I don't take, as you can see here, um, I don't take the peel-off base coat quite high enough sometimes. So I end up sort of like encapsulating the peel-off base coat underneath my gel polish, which obviously is not ideal. Came off all right to be fair. Oh, that one was satisfying. That one's definitely the best peel yet. Didn't even break anywhere or anything. Oh, well, that's disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it still came off in one technically, so you know, it's not all bad. 
this is a little bit up here but i did actually thinking about it completely forget that i'd had to file a bit of black from the last design that i did off this nail and i didn't um as you can see it's it's rough there because i've filed over it and peel off base coat comes off so much easier when it's got top coat underneath instead of a rough surface because obviously the rough surface makes it last longer which you'd usually want that would usually be a good thing but not when you're using it for the reason that i'm using it and you want it to come straight away so i do need to re -top coat this nail but it's fine now i've remembered i'll do that now before i forget and leave the room um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching and i'll be back very soon with another one bye